Winters in southeast Texas are usually warm, but when the temperatures drop down into the 50s at night or 40s or the occasional freezes, I need to do a little bit more when hammock camping. I am testing two approaches. Uh, one is an underquilt, and this, this is an underquilt that I recently purchased. And I use this with my winter hammock and this is a custom hammock that Billy Joe Denny made me. And it has two bottoms in here. I can put reflecting material between the two to help keep me warm. So not only do I have the well-built hammock, but I have this uh, excellent uh, external underquilt. And the advantage of that, rather than a sleeping bag, is the uh, material is not compressed. And so the insulation stays strong while I'm laying on it. My bottom won't get cold. Uh, pillow and then if it does really get cold I've got a down uh, comforter I also have a little down jacket to wear and my soul escape bivy now you've seen this in in other videos I use this often in the spring as my only sleeping bag it's breathable and reflective and, and keeps me pretty warm so with all of those things and this hammock, it should be really nice. And if it really got cold or rainy, I'd put a tarp over the whole thing. But that's, uh, that's one approach that works. I'm testing a uh, second approach that I think is going to work just as well. Uh, and that is using the sleeping bag on the outside of the hammock. This is an inexpensive hammock that doesn't have a bug net. Oh, I modified the bag a little bit and I cut a little hole if I don't need that hole, I can close it off as I have an attachment here that I can tie to the, the other end. 
the insulation's not compressed because it's around the outside of the hammock. So that should keep me warm in the same way that this one does. And uh, then this is attached to the end. I use very simple knots and then I put a stick in it to hold it in place. It's a quick release knot. On this other hammock, I'm using um, another system. This is a Dutch strap with a uh, Dutch clip that you just pull it and it tightens in and has a quick release. The hammock here has a structural ridge line, so no matter what the length is between the trees, as long as that ridge line is tight, I have the angle of the hammock I like. And you can adjust this so that if you want it flatter, then you just change the adjustment right over here. And I just uh, pull that out and adjust it. I put a little knot on the end so that it's adjustment that I want to keep it at right now. Very simple. And I'm going to test both tonight and see how they compare. Now it's supposed to get down into the 40s, so this is like one of the first times to um, be able to test it where it's cold enough. Because you see, it doesn't get cold here. I added a spreader bar at the end of this hammock and that should make it more uh, comfortable. It'll give me more shoulder room. Uh, why do you think I put shoes on post like this when I sleep in a hammock in a semi-tropical area? Hmm, wonder. When the sun goes down, it'll be time for the big test. I don't know, I might have to stay here two nights to decide. This little hammock here, or that hammock. Uh, what underclothes do you use? I have an old, and I've used it forever, and I love it to death. Uh, jacks are better. Uh-huh. And then he's sporting the... I'm using the Underground Quilt Zeppelin. My overly complicated setup here, I've got a pole mod, a dual pole mod underneath. I've got it in porch mode. Of course, on the Tato stand. Do it again. That was a lucky shot. <laughs> do it again. I've seen him do it a few you do times. It again. It's like a magician. A magician never repeats his. Yeah. <laughs> See. <Mike's the> magnificent. <laughs> I'm not the only one who gets cold feet. Mike wears booties to keep his feet warm when he's in the hammock. They're nice and soft and silky. They're made out of goose down. Well, they're now on my Christmas list. Well, maybe I should get two pair because they'd make good mittens too. Yeah. The soup is ready. Look at this. You don't know what you're missing when you don't spend a, a nice evening outdoors where the sky's clear and it's, it's getting colder and just enjoying the, the beauty of the season. It is spectacular. Time to hit the sack. I'm going to start out the night in this little hammock and see how the sleeping bag does. 
and then halfway through the night I'm going to move over to this other hammock and uh, see what happens. And this is my pillow. I'm going to use in both of them. And if I get really cold, I have some other things that I can wear uh, to keep me warm. Um, blankets and, and other types of jackets. Well, let's see. I'm in my cocoon, all comfy. And there are my, my boots. And a Soul Escape bivy I'll put on if I get too cold before I switch over to this other hammock. But uh, it's really, really neat. I'm nice and actually I'm quite warm in here. You can see I'm going to keep my head plenty warm. And then I'll just be in the cocoon. And it actually is very comfy on all sides. So far there aren't any cold spots, but we'll see what happens as the night progresses. Well, sweet dreams. I'll, uh, I'll get up when I wake up and switch over to the other hammock. If I don't wake up, I'll just stay in this one all night. So uh, it's really cool. Sweet dreams. Good night. Hi guys, I just woke up after a few hours, it's around midnight, and uh, this hammock is very warm, very, very warm. There are no cold spots at all. What I do find is it's a little bit too confining. This is a mummy bag, and because it's in a, a hammock like this, I'm not able to turn very much at all. It's a little too straight for my back. If I were to use this all night long, I'd want to put a little pillow under my knees so I could bend them a little bit more. But I give it a thumbs up for being nice and comfortably warm with no cold spots. So I'm going to get up and then go uh, over to the hammock next door. I'm in the other hammock. You can see what a nice large palace this is. I did put a down comforter in to cover me because I'm open to the sky and I, I'll radiate heat to, through the sky. So that should keep me comfortable. But you see, I can move around in here. I can be at an angle, bed any way I want. This is fantastic. I love it. It's a little cooler. But uh, no, no cold spots, it's just colder to the sky. That's why I feel the radiation of my heat to the sky. But uh, we'll see how it gets a little later. Good night, guys. Sweet dreams, I'll let you know in the morning. Good morning, guys. I slept pretty well. It got cool last night though. But my uh, under quilt and this top quilt here that I have and my gloves and my nice warm socks, they all kept me, kept me warm enough. I really like this uh, larger uh, hammock. Now comparison to, to that hammock down there, that one kept me nice and warm but I couldn't move around. And so it was too confining and it, it really was not as comfortable as this one. Well, it's time to get up and make breakfast. It's gonna be a beautiful day. Can't wait to explore the forest some more. It has a zipper on the bottom, and so this should work really well because it's rectangular in shape rather than a mummy bag.
it works fantastic to have your sleeping bag over the hammock if you use a rectangular shaped bag. It's too confining when I used that mummy bag before. I can sleep sideways, I can move my feet, I can use the hammock just like I normally would, but everything is toasty warm. And uh, I can easily put a scarf over my face if I want to, want to be warmer if it gets too cold. This is great. I've got my knees up now, no problem at all, plenty of space. So putting your sleeping bag outside of your hammock, around your hammock, will work if you have the right type of sleeping bag. It needs to have an opening in the bottom. This one has a zipper separate for the bottom, so I didn't have to do anything to it. I just unzipped it so that I could put the hammock through it. And then I attached some cordage. I just wrapped the cordage around it. And on this end, there's some tags to hold the cordage. And this other end, I have a bungee cord. I'll, I'll show it to you in just a minute. It works fantastic. Always leave your campsite cleaner than you found it. Oh, he knows exactly how far it'd be. Ah! You're gonna yeah. get it soon. I can move back. There you go, a little. Okay. It, it ricochets. A little sister from the ground. It ricochets. No, All it's right. still native. <laughs> They achieved the goal. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> See, he does the adjustments at the tree end, which I've yeah. never seen. Exactly. Well, that's because that's you see, I'm totally doing it from original thinking. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's yeah. what makes yeah. this fun. And what yeah. the reason I did it from the, it was pretty easy from the tree end. And then yeah. everything here stays together. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the only thing I had to adjust is I have to cut a couple times before yeah. I got it. Well, yeah. you want to see a worst case example of original thinking, come look at his setup. Yeah. <laughs> this takes about a day and a half and a U-Haul trailer. <laughs>